you should have been out there in the stands. I, I, nine out of ten of the people that I spoke to, oh, Rich, we're doing a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this. Calvin's going for 1,100. Trevor's going to be heavy. It's, it's, it's great to, to see that, though. Um, you mentioned it yourself about having the, 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 the leadership skills and being a leader. And I think that's something that has been widely said in the league and also from myself seeing you. Um, just how, how do you learn that, that skill to, to, to be the leader that you are? And especially when you came into the team and it's players who have wildly different experience, longer time in the league, different backgrounds, different positions. You know, you come in and how do you almost demand that, that, that leadership skill? Yeah, I think it's a few things. I mean, I think you definitely have to lead by example. You have to take care of your business. You have to do things a certain way to gain the respect from your teammates. And that's, I think, especially important early on, um, especially when, you know, as a rookie coming in. The vocal leadership stuff, when you're a rookie, you got to earn the respect of your teammates first and you got to show them kind of who you are, the player you are, but also the person off the field. So I think that takes some time. But then I think leadership is, Honestly, to me, I think it's mostly about relationships and it's having those relationships with, with your guys, whether it's the O-line, the receivers, the running backs, the other quarterbacks, a few of the guys on defense, whoever it is. It's just having those real relationships where, you know, you can tell guys things that they need to hear and vice versa. They can tell me something if there's a weak spot in my game or if there's something I'm doing that might be negatively affecting the team or whatever it is. Having those real relationships allows you to have that freedom to to talk to guys, to hold people accountable, to have those conversations after every play. After If I don't like the way Christian or Calvin or Zay run a route, I'm gonna tell them. If they don't like the way, the spot I threw it because they're thinking something different, they're gonna tell me. So I think it comes from that mm. and just that open dialogue. And we've created that culture here. And it's obviously taken a lot more than just me. It's like I said, it's our coach, it's Coach Peterson, it's press, it's all the receivers, all the O-linemen, all the guys really just buying in. and. Um, I think when, when that happens, it's much easier to lead. Yeah, for sure. Um, Trevor, I, I'd, I'd love to know, outside of the world of football, um, what, what, what do you get up to in, in your spare time? What things are you doing it's when been, you're yeah. not thinking about football, as unimaginable yeah. as that is? It's been golf here the la this, this year for sure. Played more golf than I ever have. It's pretty addicting. So I'm trying to get, and, and you know, Christian and CJ and a bunch, a bunch of my other buddies play, so it's something that we can all do together and kind of compete and mess around. So that's probably, that took up most of my free time this off season, really? that and traveling. Like me and my wife love to travel and I, you know, it's tough too. Like we love to travel and go see the world and do different things, but also traveling with our families too is getting mm -hmm. that time that we don't get during the season. Like I don't get to really spend time with my family or my wife's family just because we're so busy, you know, we're working every day. So in the off season, trying to soak that up and go on trips and you know family trips and all those things. But that and, and golf really was, was all I did. <laughs> Have you been to TCP? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We went on tour with Tony, Tony Baselli came over. Mm -hmm. and he was like, I, I, he lives at TCP. He's like, he loves that place. That's, that, it's awesome. And the tournament's a lot of fun too. You know, they, they play it in, in, in March, I guess that's what it is. So they, they play that every year and it's a blast. Have you played with Tony Baselli by chance? I haven't. I heard he's pretty good, though. Okay, he was saying he's good. Yeah. yeah. I, I was, <laughs> was hoping you'd be like, good. yeah, I played with him, but he was trash. You know, yeah, like, well, so. it's that's the thing about golf. Everyone says they're not good, and I'm actually not good. So if I'm saying, I'm being honest, but if someone says they're good, they're probably really good because right. everybody always says they're, they try to, like, lowball you, and then they end up being pretty good. But I guess he's he must be pretty solid. <laughs> Best player on the team and your favorite golf pro? <sighs> Best player on the team? Um... So I heard uh, Brandon McManus is pretty good. I haven't played with okay. him. But before he got here, I'd say, uh, well, I also heard Josh Peterson, uh, yeah. coach's son, is pretty, is pretty good. And then favorite pro, it's probably everyone's like favorite right now. I don't know. Uh, I have a, a few guys I really like watching. I like watching Victor Hovland, but I would say- I love like, Hovland. Yeah, I yeah. love Victor. I, yeah, I think same. he's he's fun same. to watch. Yeah. Uh, and Scotty, like I, I love the way Scotty carries himself and just, his demeanor, like I said, that's probably like a lot of people's favorite right yeah. now, but my one that's not would probably be Victor. I went I like to him. Norway recently and went to the golf club that he grew up playing oh, yeah? at, and they were like, probably your same yourself at football. He just lived there. Mm. His mom would have to get there and drag him out. <laughs> was that like you in football? You were just practice, practice, practice. Yeah, I've always been, I've always been obsessed with it, you know, since I was a kid. And it was something me and my dad really bonded over because he's, Took me to a lot of my, you know, practices and all of that, like all the car rides to go to practice and all and all those things, and was at all of it. My mom was very supportive as well, but that was kind of like me and my dad's thing, you know, when I was a kid. So, 
it's something that you know I worked really hard at and sacrificed a lot, even as a kid, and that's what I wanted to do. But mm. it's just something I've always put as a priority in my life, and um, yeah, for sure. Trevor, thank you so much for your time, firstly, and best of luck this season. I, I think we all have nice, a, a great feeling, and <laughs> so thank you so much. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Reese. For more exclusive content like this, make sure you check out our show, Jaguars Weekly UK, every Wednesday, 9 p.m. on Sky Sports NFL. Thank you.